Well, good morning, everybody. I got 16 bales going out, so I'm gonna start loading this trailer while I talk about the issue I had with the DEF system. And then when I get back, I'm gonna install that oil drain catch system and uh, show you how that turns out. So, follow along. Well, so, I had some hay to unload one evening and it was about 35 degrees outside so I fired the tractor up to let it warm up and then uh, and everything was fine on the dash and then when I came out to get in the tractor I had an exclamation point with a triangle around it and that's the only light that was on but then right underneath it I had an error code showing on the dash and I'll put that up right here and you can see what it says, E17, underneath that, it's 3521. So, I called the dealer the next morning, and they had to, uh, it took them all day to get back to me, but they finally got the code on, in the meaning of it. It, it said, death quality out of range. And so the dealer recommended draining the death tank and uh, replacing the fluid. He said sometimes condensation might build up in the tank and when you dilute death fluid with water, it throws the, uh, it throws the quality of the fluid, it's, it, it throws the quality of the fluid off and dilutes it even though it's a plastic tank and I'm not quite sure about that, about building uh, condensation inside the tank, but I guess anything's possible. But I thought, well crap, I'm not gonna drain the uh, death tank. Because all the ones I've been around, like on my pickups and stuff, they don't put a drain in them. They're just a solid plastic tank. But I got underneath it, and let me show you where the drain is. So here's the death tank, and right underneath it, they put a drain in there. So the engineers for ADCO, or whoever designed the death system, were actually using the brain and, and were thinking about the end user and put a drain in there. So I drained it. And I haven't put death fluid in this tractor since I got it from the dealer. So there's no telling how long it was in there, but I drained the fluid and I refilled it with uh, the blue death brand. And the code went away, the light went off, it shut off on its own. Which is really nice because normally when I have a check engine light on, I'm used to having to clear the code to make the light go off, but the sensor automatically read the fluid right off the bat and it turned the light off. So I thought, man, I'm, I'm probably gonna have a bad sensor or something, but the three things it can be for that code is the quality of the fluid, the sensor being bad and not working properly, or a wiring harness issue or a wiring issue so anyways I thought I would just uh, throw, this, throw this code out there in case some of you have this issue and you can maybe you can dodge a bullet like I did I don't know if the older Masseys now this is a 2021 year bottle I don't know if the older Masseys have drains in them like the 2018s, 19s, and stuff like that, the years like that, but, uh, so anyways, I really dodged the bullet on that one, and kind of learned about the system a little bit, but it goes to show, and I did, I did open up, you get like three different manuals, a maintenance manual, an operator's manual, a manual for the loader when you buy the tractor. So I went through all the manuals and not one of them has a list of what the trouble codes mean. 
you have to have a service manual or you have to call the dealer so so anyways the dealer helped me out and it just goes to show that I need to order a service manual for it. I had one for the Workmaster, but I had my last new haul in, which is really helpful to have. It just, if anything, if you read, read through it, even if you don't have any issues, you can kind of learn about your tractor more. But, so I gotta get a service manual coming for it. And uh, go from there. So, let me get all this this hay loaded and stacked and delivered and then when I get back I'm gonna install this this kit that I got it's different if you watch if any of you follow DLH farms that has a Massey 4710 he made a video on installing this kit well after watching it again I wasn't gonna do a video on it because he did a great job and when I got my kit out mine's a little different and I think Massey updated this kit from when he put his on back in 2018 or 2019 whenever he made the video so hold tight and I'll get after it here shortly all right here's everything that came in the kit get all your caps your flip-up caps uh, your plus and minus signs to go on them, your bottle, your two brackets, two screws, and a nut. And then you need a 15 16th and a 10 millimeter. Here's all your drain hoses, a couple of zip ties, and here's the part number for the kit. Again, this, this kit's been updated. This bracket's a little different than the one that uh, Dennis uses in DL, DLH Farms. You gotta take this reflector light off. This light unscrews. From the bracket. And then you take off, you take this nut off, remove the bracket, and then the, the bracket slides on. And then it relocates the reflector to the end of the bracket. And what this kit also does is it makes the oil catch bottle tuck up tighter in the tractor. Dennis's uh, video, he complained about this bottle with the older kit. The older kit made the bottle sit way down here and it, and it hang below the tractor. This one brings it up or it's kind of tucked in here. So. So it essentially goes on like this. You can see here. It doesn't hang below the tractor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this kit installed. I'm not gonna do a detailed video on it. You can go check out DL, DLH Farm, Dennis. He does his and you kind of get the idea of running the hoses and everything. So I'm gonna get it installed and I'll cut to the end. Well, here it is. Probably didn't take me but 15 minutes, if that. These things just push on. They're pretty hard to push on, but once you get them on there, you'll know it. And you can get in there and open them up and see, make sure everything's flush. Came with these little plus and minus signs. And then here's the bracket. How it mounts up. This is the reflector bracket you take off. sits like that normally and it came with this extra nut but I put this one back on because it already had the nylon lock washer in it but you can see how tight it is this arm is adjusted all the way over I'm just got a little bit of clearance and then the three points raised all the way up and I've got this arm sucked all the way up so it's not hitting it see it's tucked high enough where it's not dragging down like on uh, the old style bracket so all right I'm gonna end the video there uh, I hope that helps some of y'all with that that def code 
or maybe you're looking to install that kit, if you go to DLH Farms channel and search uh, Massey 4710 fix, you'll see the more detailed install of that kit just with a different bracket. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.